Studies on sauna have long shown that heat stress can produce a growth hormone spike that is transient but also utterly profound, doubling it or even multiplying it by as much as 16-fold compared to normal levels. This is a classic hallmark response to heat, but the question is, what is the physiological relevance? Growth hormone releasing hormone stimulates GABAergic neurons in the hypothalamus's preoptic area, a region crucial for both temperature regulation and sleep control. This creates a fascinating interplay between growth hormone and slow wave sleep. For more in-depth insights, here's a sneak peek from my recent episode on this topic. Find the full discussion on YouTube and podcast platforms. The relationship between growth hormone and sleep appears to be bi-directional. On the one hand, the majority of daily growth hormone secretion occurs in the initial phase of slow wave sleep. On the other hand, growth hormone and its releasing hormone, growth hormone releasing hormone, have also been shown to promote sleep, particularly slow wave sleep. Regular sauna use is probably one of the most powerful stimuli that increases both growth hormone and prolactin. So uh, growth hormone, the effects of sauna use on growth hormone levels really depend on many factors, including duration, temperature, and frequency. So for instance, two 20-minute sauna sessions at 80 degrees Celsius with 30 minutes of cooling period in between can double growth hormone levels um, basically from their baseline. On the other hand, two 15-minute sauna sessions at about 100 degrees Celsius, dry heat, separated by a 30-minute cooling period can cause a five-fold increase in growth hormone levels. So there's also a really remarked effect um, when you do sort of repeated sauna use. So repeated sauna use, for example, you do one, uh, you do two one-hour sauna sessions at 80 degrees Celsius. This is very, very high. Uh, for seven days in a row, that leads to a 16-fold increase in growth hormone levels in men. Uh, heating activates warm, sensitive neurons in the hypothalamus that promote slow-wave activity in response to increased core body temperature and skin temperature. Yet again, another potential mechanism behind why sauna use, why hot baths, um, and even exercise, which elevates core body temperature, may promote slow-wave deep sleep.